Kate needed to enhance her curb appeal in a big way. That's where Lowe's creative ideas came in to get the results you see here. I'm David Sheinkoff. And I'm Leslie Sadler. Let's take you back to the beginning of the project to show you how it all started. My front yard was an eyesore. The driveway was dominant and drab. And so I turned to the Lowe's creative ideas team. If you're interested in really maximizing the investment in your house and, and hoping to make a little profit, one of the best places to start is by maximizing your curb appeal. Half the houses on my street are ranch, the other half have a cottage feel. Some of the things I really thought would help integrate this house into the neighborhood was a better landscaping plan, a way to sort of soften this very white concrete driveway, and some architectural details too. This project really surprised me because we were able to come up with some wonderful ideas but not blow my budget. What about down here? Do you use this sort of pathway? Because maybe we could put an arbor or something. I love arbors. Yeah. If we place this arbor by the side of the house here, okay. we could look at yeah. using a barrel and collecting rain that you can then just put back into your garden and not always just connecting the hose and water. That's really again, cool. You know? Here in the south where the droughts can be really severe, this rain chain setup is a really cool and creative idea to get the most out of the rain that we do get. Plus, Having a fiberglass barrel that's lightweight makes moving it a breeze. Once Kate and I started talking about what we needed to do here, I brought in Scott, who's our landscape guru on our team. Yeah. got some organic choice topsoil and some organic potting mix. The Great. plants really just love it. I mean, you've got to give the plants some nutrients. Chemical herbicides can do the trick, but there are other alternatives to help Kate avoid constant weeding. That's right, David. You know, it was so important for Kate that we really keep it green out mm -hmm. here. So we started with this landscape fabric, and then we layered organic soil and mulch on top of it. I'm so happy to tell you there's not a single chemical in Kate's garden. No, oh, that's great. That composite edging, that Timberwolf product, that's new to me. What's this actually made of? It's made out of recycled wood and plastic, and this is a great product. It's easy to install. A homeowner can do it, and it cuts down on maintenance, too. This area, that's really bugging me, and I wondered if there's an opportunity to soften this initial view. Yeah, I wouldn't want to use that? anything tall because it yeah. would just block the whole front of the house. So it would be nice to maybe find a specimen shrub or right. a or a small tree, one of the lace leaf Japanese maples. The water feature idea we were talking about, here's kind of the idea to help you picture it a little bit better. David, come take a look at the fountain we created. What wow. do you think? This is really great. Isn't that cool? Such a nice alternative to the prefab fountains you can find, you know? We thought so, and the neat thing is, anybody can make this because the plans are online. The trick is, you want to pick a really pretty pot like this and think about matching it with the plantings and surroundings. I think this works pretty well for Kate, don't you? I think it's really clever. Come take a look at the window. We did some serious work on that. When you look at the front of your house, Kate, mm -hmm. I know you were, you know, you wanted to kind of give it a little more personality, a little more cottage feel. Well, one of the best ways to do that is to change out this window with the bay window. And I kind of like the seating you're going to get in there because it would be right in your living room. <laughs> this wasn't on the plan. Right, we fooled you with this one. It's, we just kind of came up with this idea when we were working on it. It's a new take on an arbor. Ah. The idea is the vine's going to grow across and get really lush and sort of soften the architecture over well, time. Really works. I think Kate likes it a lot too, so that's good. Nothing personalizes a space like your own creation. Kate made this beautiful street sign out of mosaic tile and put it in the flower bed out front. She also made a beautiful mosaic art piece by the front door. Simple tile from the flooring department, grout, and pre-cut plywood made it easy. I did a little homework for coming over here because I know you were talking about lighting being important and also sort of eco-friendly being important. So I pulled the solar lights that you mentioned. Okay. There are a bunch of different choices here. You know, we've got a lot. We can even look at more online and we can hit the store. Boy, these solar powered lights really look great. Oh, thanks, David. You know, we added a lot of them, so I think they're really effective together. But we also added some floodlights on motion detectors because we wanted Kate to feel really safe. Even though it's an outside project, we really were all over the store from lighting to windows to millwork and, and that's the beauty of it. You just move around and keep looking for ideas to integrate in, into the space. That's really the fun of shopping at Lowe's for these projects. By adding curb appeal, Kate's front yard and driveway became beautiful and welcoming. It's not only eco-friendly, but the changes we've made here have really enhanced the value of her home. With these few simple steps and some creative ideas from Lowe's, you too can do the same. To check out these projects, and more ideas that you can use on your own home, go to LowesCreativeIdeas.com. And while you're at it, subscribe to our free magazine.